welcome dear student in the second lesson of your political science that is electoral process so children let us understand the chapter children as we all have studied about the different forms of the government we have also studied about the different governments such as the monarchy form of government dictatorship republic government democratic form of government and many more from all these forms of government democracy is considered as one of the best form of the government the reason behind it is that in democracy form of government people have the right to select the government it is said by ibrahim lincoln that democracy is a government of people by the people and for the people so children let us study together the process of election which plays a very important role in democracy and also the role and the function of the election commissioner so children let get started so children the topics that we are going to cover in this module are we are going to study about democratic form of the government why elections are important and the structure and the function of the election commissioner so children let us begin the lesson democracy children what is democracy a democracy is a form of government in which the people have the authority to choose their governing legislation means in democratic form of government the rights are in the hands of the people in democratic government election plays a very important role as we know that people representatives are selected through the elections due to the election different political parties get an opportunity to rule which help to bring changes in power through the peaceful means we expect that the government or the representatives that we have elected should be efficient honest trustworthy and should respect the opinion of the people so children let us understand then why election is important election election have played a major role in the working of the india's democracy an election is a process by which people can choose their candidate in a representative democracy or in the other forms of the government the election process should be free fair and reliable to ensure this the constitution of india has made a provision for an independent election commission to administer the election process in india the election commission of india and the state level election commission conduct all important election in our country that is in india the entire process of election from declaring the date of the election to the declaration of result in carried is carried out under the direction and the control of election commission the election process is a inseparable component of a comprehensive democratic process children do you know what is representation it is also said that modern democracy is a representative democracy yes correct children modern democracy is a representative democracy because in democracy it is not possible to involve entire population in the decision making process children 
as we all know that india is a big country and it is not possible for everyone or for every individual to have time and knowledge to take decision on all matters related to the society or related to the politics so this result in the beginning of electing some people on behalf of the entire population as a representatives who would run the government these representatives who form the government are expected to be responsible to the people and give preference to the welfare of the people types of election there are three types of election or we can also say that there are three different forms of election that is we have general elections midterm elections and the by elections now children what are the difference between all the three forms of election so let us understand what they generally means so the first one that we have that is a general election the election which takes place after every 5 years is called as a general election for example the election of the lok sabha which takes after every 5 years after every 5 years the new governor or the new government come into the rule the next one that we have that is the midterm elections if the if the elected government loses its majority or its power completing its term in the parliament for means if the ruling party loses its majority or loses its power in the parliament before 5 years in that time the mid term election can take place or if the parliament of the coalition government now children what is this coalition government coalition government means it is a type of government where two or more political parties join together to run the government for example in maharashtra now we are having the coalition form of government where the three parties rule together that is shiv sena ncp and the congress party so this is called as a coalition government which withdraw their support resulting in the loss of majority support for the government and the third one is if no alternative government is possible then election are held before the completion of the term this is called as a midterm elections means if there is no representative or in any case due to that the election has to be break in between so at that time the midterm election takes place let us move to the third one that is the by election if an elected representative in lok sabha or vidhan sabha or in the local self government resigns or due to his or her death his seats become vacant the election held for that vacant seat this is called as a by election children why it is important to have election election provide a way to the people to assert their voice opinion and choose a person whose ideas matches with them most as after independence india adopted universal adult suffrage and each individual of india got the right to vote election provides a way for the citizens of india to choose their leaders they do so by casting their vote in favor of candidates or party whose views appeal to them this ensures that the will of the people is reflected in the elected candidates election are also a platform for the public to voice their resentment against the ruling party by voting different government 
citizens democrats that they possess ultimate authority the process of election is a critical in democratic country it is expected that electoral reforms will contribute to better participation of the citizen in electoral practice to reduce corruption and strengthen democracy in india in 2014 lok sabha election more than 3000 crores were spent by the government for conducting electoral process election commission the election commission is the central to the process of election means the election commissioner is the whole and soul of the election process article 324 of indian constitution has established this autonomous body the word autonomous means having freedom to govern itself which consists of one chief election commissioner and two other commissioners the election commissioners are appointed by the president of the country the chief election commissioners can not be removed from his post easily or even not on the account of any political reason this is necessary so as to preserve the independence of the election commission there is a separate provision made for the expenses of the election commission the election commission does not have separate staff he make the government officers teachers and other employees to work with him and to execute the process of elections children do you know that who is the chief election commissioner of india the chief election commissioner of india is sunil arora and the other two commissioners are ashok lavase and sushil chandra so children let us move to the next topic that is qualification of the election commissioner qualification of the election commissioner the chief election commissioner should be a member of indian civil service and mostly from the indian administrative system or the service it is very difficult to remove the authority of the chief election commissioner once appointed by the president as two third of lok sabha and rajya sabha needs to present and vote against him for disorderly functions or improper actions of the election commissioner on that basis only the election commissioner can be removed from his post children as you can see the picture of urvender pal singh madan on the given slide urvender pal singh madan he is the current chief election commissioner of the maharashtra state children do you know who was the first election commissioner of india yes that is sukumar sen sukumar sen was the first chief election commissioner after independence in year 1921 sen was selected for indian civil service under the british rule he was given the charge of election commissioner after the election commissioner was established in year 1950 Mr Sen efficiently handled the responsibility of election commission and extremely adverse conditions children let us understand about the functions of the election commissioner or how the election commission work so the work of the election commissioner or the functions of the election commissioners are preparing the voters list deciding the timetable and the program of elections scrutiny of applications of candidates give recognition to the political parties to resolve any disputes related to election so children 
we are going to study each functions one by one so let us begin with the first one that is preparing the voters list functions of the election commissioner preparing the voters list every citizen who have completed 18 years of age has a right to vote to exercise this right Citizen's name must be enrolled in the voters list. It is responsibility of the election commission or the election commission to prepare the list of eligible voters. Even to update the existing voter list and should also include the name of the new voters. The election commission has the authority to issue identity cards to the voters let us move to the second function that is decide the timetable and the program of elections the conduct of election is entirely the responsibility of the election commission the election commission decides when to conduct the election and how many stages to hold election in every state let us move to the third one, scrutiny of the applications of the candidates. The word scrutiny means critical examination. So, after the election dates are declared, every political party select the candidates to contest election. Some candidates contest the election independently without the support of any political parties. Candidates of political parties as well as independent candidates have to fill the application which includes the information about their own self. The election commission scrutinizes all the applications and allow the eligible candidates to contest the elections. So children, let us move to the next function. give recognitions to the political parties we have a multi-party system in our country children what do you mean by multi-party system a multi-party system is a system where multiple political parties were take part in national election new parties continue to be formed split in the parties result in the formation of new parties all political parties are required to be recognized by the election commission. Election commission also have a right to de-recognize any political party. The election commission also allot election symbols to the political parties. Means the election commissioner gives or provides election symbols to the political parties these political parties can be recognized by that symbols let us move to the next function that is to resolve any disputes relating to the election the election commissioner has the responsibility to resolve any dispute that may arise regarding elections accordingly to declare any candidate as disqualified or conduct re-election in a particular constituencies is the responsibility of the election commissioner means the election commissioner has right to disqualify the application of the candidate in case if he involved in any malpractices or criminalization even he can conduct re-election of a particular constituencies children do you remember that who was the first Indian voter who has been voted for the India the first Indian voter who has been voted for India was Sham Sharan Negi from the Himachal Pradesh he was the first voter of India he exercised the right to vote on 25th October 1951 in the Lok Sabha election. Children, 
let us move to the evaluation part of the given module question number one fill in the blank the election commissioner is appointed by the dash so children as we all have studied that the election commissioners are appointed by the president let us move to the next question dash was appointed as the first chief election commissioner of independent india so the answer for the question is sukumar sen sukumar sen was the first chief election commissioner was who was appointed at the time of independence of india children let us move to the next question question number 2 answer the following the first one explain the functions of the election commissioner so children as we all have studied the different functions of the election commissioner such as preparing the voters list second one deciding the timetable and the program of the election scrutiny of the applications of the candidates give recognition to the political parties and to resolve any disputes related to the elections so children you are going to write in detail about each and every point that we have just discussed in the given module let us move to the next question that is question number 3 that is give reasons the state government decides as to when and how many st stages the election would be held in a particular state so the answer for the given question is false as the election commissioner of india and the state level state election commissioner conduct all the important elections in our country the entire process of the election from declaring the dates as well as of the declaration of the result are carried out under the guidance or under the direction of the election commissioner children we are going to meet soon in the next module till then read the textbook thoroughly and watch the video